So, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to this new session of the Wiki Weekend. Uh, during this session, we will talk about Wiki human rights. And we will have with us uh, two friends, Alex Stinson from the Wiki Media Foundation and Dr. Michelle Bakni, who is also working with the Wiki Foundation on this uh, new challenge. So, welcome, Alex. Welcome, Michelle. And uh, welcome to all, all, all the people watching us. <laughs> So the subject uh, of this weekend will be the human rights and the, the um, human rights, which uh, and the healthy environment. And uh, Alex and Michelle, we are, we are going to, to to present us this uh, new challenge from the Wikimedia Foundation and the importance of having this uh, this uh, Wiki human rights challenge. Thank you for the introduction. Um, let me pull up my slides real quick and we can give you a brief introduction. Um, so uh, are, are the slides good? Yes. Excellent. Um, so you, you all may have seen uh, our announcements for Wiki for Human Rights. It's an upcoming uh, uh, call to action that we're uh, starting in about 16 days. 18 days uh, around April 15th. Um, and we wanted to give you a brief introduction of exactly what it is uh, and how you can get involved. Um, so I'm going to start. Uh, I'm Alex Stenson. I'm a senior program strategist at the Wikimedia Foundation. And I um, coordinate this campaign with our UN partners. And then Michelle uh, uh, came on this year to help me uh, coordinate the campaign with the community. And he's going to tell you a little bit more about how to get involved. Um, so yeah, thanks for having me. Um, so what is? Oh, thanks, <laughs> Um So so what is Wiki for Human Rights? Um, uh, from a very basic high level uh, at the Wikimedia Foundation, we think it's really important that human right uh, humans have access to knowledge about their human rights. These are fundamental rights that are protected at a global level, and we signed a, uh, a cooperation agreement with UN Human Rights. Um, uh, two and a half, three years ago, uh, to promote uh, knowledge about human rights on a global scale. Um, and so as part of that work, we are doing collaborations and calls to action. You may have seen these graphics from the last Wiki for Human Rights campaign that ran from uh, late 2019 into early 2020, right before the pandemic. Um, it, was, it was pretty successful. Uh, lots of uh, over 300 articles were created, over 700 articles edited, more than 12 languages were active. Um, and we were very excited that it, it, this call to action really worked. Um, and we, importantly, were really excited about the diversity of communities that showed up, um, both with on wiki activities and off wiki. Um, this year, because of COVID and all of the changes, uh, we are kind of trying some different things, and Michelle will tell you about that. We aren't as dependent on local uh, wiki communities to organize because we didn't want organizers to feel uh, uh, like they had to do a lot uh, to support this campaign. Um, but we uh, will we'll talk about that in a little bit. But this year's theme, the 2021 theme, is going to be right to a healthy environment. Um, and if you don't know about this uh, right, it's a proposed framework for human rights related to environmental issues. Um, and it's a really important thing, especially in light of us celebrating the Wikipedia 20 birthday. Um, from my PC, Michelle? Is the sound good? Oh, yeah, good. Um, yeah, so it's really important uh, as we celebrate the 20th birthday and the humanity of the, the Wikimedia communities to uh, and their kind of contributions to global knowledge that we also think about um, what elements or what kind of parts of the world are needed for human rights. And, and, and that's where the right to a healthy environment comes in. Um, the, the idea of the right to a healthy environment is that we all have a right to live in a healthy environment because from the soil to food to water to our relationship to other natural systems um, are all based on the environment being healthy and supportive. Um, and also there's a number of other connected rights like the right to water, the right to uh, livelihood, uh, a right to clean, um, 
uh, a right to life. Uh, all of these things are right to housing. All of these things are connected to the environment and the uh, kind of global context in which we live. And it's particularly important, uh, like after COVID, in the face of environmental crises like the um, uh, climate crisis uh, and the loss of biodiversity, that we like know how these rights, um, that, uh, all the other human rights that are well established in law in this new proposed framework for the right to a healthy environment are connected. Um, there are over 150 countries that have some version of the right to a healthy environment in their legal code. The problem is most of Wikipedia doesn't touch this. Uh, it it's just does not exist. It's not talked about. Um, and it's because this is kind of an emerging body of knowledge. Um, and so really what we're hoping is that uh, we're working with UN Environment and UN Human Rights this year to draw that connection, to, to give a, a list of topics and a list of kind of resources that you can add that to um, Wikipedia and other Wikimedia projects. And it's important to remember like standing up for rights is about the rights of not only our futures, uh, like the climate crisis, biodiversity crisis, all of the environmental issues that we're facing right now can be overwhelming. Um, so it's, it's thinking about our futures, like what are what's the place we want to have as humans uh, for our uh, futures, but also for the future generations, the people who are going to follow us. Uh, and, and this is also a really important part of the human rights conversation. Um, how do we protect the human rights of future generations who need housing and water and health and all of these other things that we enjoy, uh, or we, we try to enjoy now, we advocate to enjoy now? Um, so we're gonna have uh, both a international writing challenge and local events. And we really want you to think about like, can you write about environmentalists who are advocating for rights, for the protection of land, for defense of water, um, uh, legal systems or treaties that might make, uh, make these rights uh, possible for uh, individuals and global communities uh, if there is law in place that protects uh, environmental health for your rights, um, let's write about it. Uh, community, talking about communities advocating for their rights. So the climate movement has really focused on climate justice and environmental justice in the last few years. And so there are many communities who have been empowered to advocate for their rights uh, in many different contexts. And then also uh, talking about like communities that have been denied access to the healthy environment or other human rights uh, that might like prevent them from living healthy, enjoyable, sustainable lives. Um, and so these are the kind of broad uh, theme or scope of the topics. And we, uh, I'll hand it over to Michelle, uh, uh, Dr. Michelle Bachney. He's recently uh, gotten his PhD um, uh, to talk a little bit about how we want to invite you to participate. Thank you, Alex. We are organizing uh, an, editing campaign, an editing campaign on Wikipedia and, uh, and uh, in uh, some sister projects. And we are inviting you to participate. Next slide, please. Uh, so how can you participate? First, you should have a Wikipedia account. Uh, that, is, uh, that is your account. And then you, uh, you should go to the campaign page and uh, create a new section in your name. Uh, to add uh, to add all the, the uh, all of your uh, contribution in, in this section, and then you have to pick up some articles from a huge list that we have already prepared, and try to write them in your own languages. Uh, and don't forget when you do that to save all the all the edits you do with, using the uh, Wiki for Human Rights uh, uh, hashtag. Next slide, please. Uh, and as I said, we are running a national, uh, an international, uh, an international uh, uh, challenge this year. It will it will run uh, between 15th of April and 15th of May. And in addition, and everyone is invited to, uh, to participate. In addition to that, there will be like more than 10 local competitions in different languages. Uh, you can always uh, search for, for the for one that uh, fits with, with your with, with the language that you you, you can edit with it with, and you can participate. And especially in the Arabic world, uh, we have like uh, the Tunisian 
community is going to organize an, uh, a competition. The Moroccan community is going, uh, community is going to organize a, a one competition in Levant and Iraq as well. So uh, there will be uh, like a, a lot of competition. You can choose it, participate either to edit articles, to add images, uh, and there will be like prizes, local prizes, and like uh, like global prizes for the for the international uh, competition. Next slide, please. Uh, in addition to that, uh, next slide. We are going to uh, uh, in addition to to the competitions, there will be like uh, some editathon and workshops organized also by the by the local community. And uh, as I said before, uh, it's not uh, it will not be uh, limited to only one or two languages. Uh, we have like uh, now we have like Spanish, Arabic, and uh, and English, uh, English and French languages. And so uh, so you, you can participate in the language that you 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 master the most. Next slide, please. Uh, in addition to that, uh, and as I said before, some some communities are uh, uh, some communities had, had already create like editathon or create workshops. So uh, you can search for for, uh, for your local uh, for your local uh, user group or your local your local community chapter to uh, to reach out to see what's what's what they are organizing. Uh, next slide, please. And uh, finally, in the 15th of April, we are going to organize a webinar and there will be experts. We are going to, uh, to host experts to talk about the right of the healthy environment. So you are all invited to participate in this, uh, in a, in this webinar. It will be uh, 15th of April. So thank you. And we are waiting for you to participate. Thanks, Michelle. Yeah, and we, we encourage Wikimedia communities, if you're watching now and you're part of an affiliate, if you want to run an event, there's still opportunities to do so. Um, I just got contacted by folks who are going to start running an expert conversation with experts in their context and uh, about indigenous communities in North America. Um, so they're beginning to schedule that now. We also have rapid grants available through uh, uh, the April 15th. Um, so if you apply any time between now and then, we can process that and help you run a local event. Thank you so much. Thank you, Alex and Michelle. Uh, this is a very uh, interesting and very important. Uh, in Wikimedia Tunisia, we were very excited and happy when Michelle contacted us to, to tell us about the initiative. Um, I mean, writing for a healthy environment is something very important for us and for our next generation. It's part, of course, of the Sustainable Development Goal fixed by the UN. And uh, also, uh, if my memory is good, we will meet this partnership with the Human Rights, uh, it's part, it was announced during uh, Wikimania 2019 in Stockholm, I think. And it's uh, something that's very important for, for our communities, uh, for all the Wiki communities around the world. So we, we are very happy to join this, uh, this campaign, this uh, challenge. And uh, actually, I'm going to share my screen and to add uh, the event for Tunisia. So, and I, as you said, more communities are welcome to join this, uh, this uh, challenge. So it's still open, so don't hesitate to, 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 uh, to list a new event. So this is the, this is the, 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 the web page. Uh, Wiki Human Rights Challenge. So here you can find all the information, the call to action, the prices, the list of article. Uh, uh, it's a very good thing that there's already a fixed list of article to write about it. We can see it here. You can find what articles are missing in the languages. And I think you, we can suggest also other articles uh, more related to the local communities. And you can contact Alex or Michelle to 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 uh, to, copy, to coordinate about this new uh, list. And here we have. So we'll find the event. Event. So here we have the timeline. So the challenge, the main challenge, will start from the 15th of April till the 15th of May. And here we have the list of uh, events around the world. 
and the communities that are organizing uh, and joining this challenge. And I will be happy here to, to add Wikimedia Tunisia in this. Uh, I think it's... Uh, it's populated from another. Yeah, it's from another. Page. I think you should. I think you should click the table uh, behind. The, uh, it's under the table. No, if you, if you because we did that like to, to, to make it easier, so you can edit it visually. Okay. Add a row to this yes. table. It's very easy. So yeah, so you can see here to add your item. Add. Okay, that's very good. Thank you very much for this. Mm -hmm. Okay, by click on tabulation, I have a new row, and I'm going to list yeah, Arabic and French and English as well. And edit that one. So it will be Wikimedia. Wikimedia. So Going so mm -hmm. so the next column here 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 you have to add the, the landing page here yes, you so can you can put it uh, tbd yes because okay. it's not we are going okay. to create a local page the coordinator so uh, so we'll uh, we'll add more information about the code and we'll put from the main challenge like this one from from the 15th of April. Mm -hmm. And this is tracking page also will uh, will add more information here. So we are going to announce this and I'm going to publish this page. So now we have new events here by Wikimedia Tunisia. I'm just going back to the previous uh, the front page. It takes a little bit for the main page to update, but it will it'll be updated soon. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. so it will be displayed here. So for all the communities, don't hesitate to add your name. It's a, it's very interesting and very important challenge uh, that uh, will impact our present and our future. So it's very important to document these topics. Uh, here we can see the list of um, uh, the articles. You have to go to the, to the to the campaign to the campaign challenge. Go to the campaign challenge. Yes. Okay. Yes, and then there is the list of articles. Uh, list. Yes. So you can find here the list of articles. There is uh, many topics that we can write about that. So don't hesitate to join this challenge. So the good yeah, thing also, I, there, is, there is a list of reference also that we can uh, that will help us uh, that will help the the the, uh, the Wikipedians to document the art. And I, I want to highlight too. There's a lot of opportunities to uh, write about topics, um, uh, like add paragraphs or sections to existing articles on Wikipedia. For example, one of the topics we listed was mining. Um, and our, the world over, mining is a topic with a lot of human rights violations, but the English Wikipedia article and many other language Wikipedia articles don't talk about the human rights implications of mining. And so there are a lot of topics like that. Um, and there's a lot of topics also, so I just uh, was doing a little bit of research. There is a human right to a healthy environment uh, in the constitution, the the new uh, constitution in Tunisia, or newer, newer. Exactly. But it's not documented in the human rights in Tunisia article uh, on English Wikipedia or in the uh, constitution article uh, in Tunisia. And so this is a good example of like very popular common articles that exist that just don't have that 
part of the documentation available. Um, and so we're going to have in the kind of how to participate section of the, the main page and linked up in the challenge, we're going to have a lot of recommendations on these small edits you can do too, um, because we really like translating articles is great. And for some Wikipedias, that's really powerful. But also just adding content to an existing article uh, uh, that kind of highlights human rights or the environmental issues associated with them is is also a really good way to to fill that gap. And uh, this will have like uh, an extra point in the in the voting system, so we are considering that as well. That's really good. We'll make sure to 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 mention this. So we are going uh, to announce this challenge on our social media channels on Facebook, Twitter, and uh, Telegram, and the mailing list. And I hope that uh, more communities will join this uh, challenge because, as I, as I said, it's very important uh, to document this uh, kind of topics so that people can know about their rights to live in a healthy environment, which is very important. Um, so just to confirm again, Alex, you said the list of articles. So this is the list has been defined by the team, your, uh, by, uh, by the Wikimedia Foundation team, but local communities can also suggest some topics, right? Yeah, so we're, uh, we worked with UN Human Rights to identify the topics they think are kind of most visible um, for, for this topic area. Um, both the right to a healthy environment and some of these other human rights are, are deeply connected in the scholarship and the, the legal literature around supporting human rights. Um, and we also wanted to give some examples of people and treaties and protests that are of international attention on these topics. Um, but uh, we also acknowledge that like human rights is a very local thing and you know what works best in your language. So we invite affiliates um, and I, I can go to the, the list page um, real quick. Um, if you, uh, so let me present a tab. Um, so if you go to the list page, uh, you can uh, see that we have the like basic international rights and agreements here, um, which include the right to a healthy environment, some of the related rights that are deeply, and some major international treaties that have been, and, and tools that have been important for this work. Um, then you'll see some like related topics that are just more general, um, like human rights and climate change that are really kind of broad topics that we should all include. And then we have some like international peoples uh, that are important. But we also have this opportunity to add other lists here. So um, if you wanna highlight one or two people in the actual main list, that's great. Um, we invite you to do that. Or topics that you think are like really important to your region or culture or context. But if you build another list, we encourage you to add it here um, uh, because we're the for the the writing contest, people are always looking for topics. Um, and so uh, I know the CEE community is building a list of uh, uh, environment and feminism uh, issues uh, that they're going to be uh, working with. Um, and we're going to kind of add a few more lists that I'm aware of. For example, the Goldman Prize is the biggest kind of international uh, environmental defender prize uh, out there and it has a lot of human rights defenders in there as well. That's great. So I'm sure that we'll find some local uh, local uh, subject and articles to add to this uh, challenge. And I think so other local communities can do the same because in any local community, there's always um, um, activists for uh, for a healthy environment. And uh, also, Maybe it can be useful for this uh, challenge. At the same time, in Africa, there is uh, the Wiki Loves Africa uh, challenge, which has a topic uh, health and wellness. So probably some photos can be used. In, I hope that some photos will be used in the articles. Uh, uh. I, I I would like to highlight that the Wiki Lovers will start immediately after the challenge is ends, and exactly. uh, and uh, people can also participate by adding the images they have into this uh, this contest as well. And we are looking at it as as, as a continuous uh, part of our campaign. I think that's part. a good thing. It's a good thing to link the, the events together. So yes. the Edit Pattern for a Healthy Environment and the Wiki Loves Earth competition and so on. So that's very good. 
Well, and we also, um, uh, so for communities in Latin America, the Escazú Agreement uh, comes into effect on Earth Day this year. And it's a uh, international uh, cre uh, treaty that um, allows for uh, transparency of information when human rights defenders uh, working on environmental issues or environmental health issues uh, uh, the governments are required to share information about those human rights defenders or human rights violations. Um, so this is actually like a really important year, both with the recovery from COVID, uh, Earth Day, and then all of these events that we're doing for kind of connecting these issues. Um, we're talking to the organizers for Wiki Loves Earth um, about uh, kind of helping them support a challenge, uh, potentially, that's related to this campaign. More information coming soon. Uh, if if we get a chance to organize, um, but as anyone who's organized something in the Wikimedia community knows, like sometimes there are many good intentions and not everything happens, um, and so we're we're hopeful, but uh, we'll we'll see how much capacity uh, we have to support that. It's good, and you also mentioned that there is a possibility to apply for rapid grant for local communities. So, yeah, Michelle. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, 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 communities who need like uh, a financial a financial aid uh, to, uh, to to cover the expense of the organizing or to cover the the prizes, uh, they can apply for a rapid grant uh, through uh, a meet the, the meet the base that is dedicated for that, and uh, they can directly contact me or Alex so we can follow the the, the application and. Uh, and and make sure that uh, that that it fits into into the requirements. Uh, and the rapid grant is open until the fifteenth of April, so we still have like two weeks and a half for uh, for people to to apply for that. Okay, thank you, Michelle, for this information. And uh, is this also? I mean, this year it's it's got, it's about he a healthy environment, uh, human rights or healthy environment. Will be other session, other challenges uh, for other topics related to human rights in general? Um, we've been supporting uh, uh, UN Human Rights connecting with other campaigns in the movement. For example, the Wikigap campaign, they provided a list of gender uh, women human rights activists uh, for special points for the Wikigap challenge. So if you want your international campaign or activity to be associated with, uh, to get support from UN Human Rights and you think you have a human rights angle on the topic, please reach out. Um, they are always looking to make these connections. Um, part of our early collaboration with UN Human Rights was working with Wikimedia Argentina to, to connect their existing human rights program to the local human rights office uh, in Argentina. Um, and so if this is of interest to you, uh, please let us know. Uh, particularly international campaigns are easy for us to support with main human, UN human rights. Um, uh, working with local offices of the UN is a little bit more complicated because they may not necessarily have an officer on staff for human rights or the environment. Um, uh, and we're, so it's not always easy uh, to make that connection. But if you have an international activity that you're doing, um, they, they're, they're experts on staff or uh, easy to access for us if we ask, we give enough time to the, the UN. This is excellent. So um, I hope uh, during this session, we presented the, the, the idea of this challenge and uh, and the importance of this wiki human rights uh, healthy environment. So, uh, as I said, in Wikimedia Media, we are going to announce this uh, on our uh, uh, social media channels and communication channels. And I hope that many other communities will join this. And um, anything else to say, Alex, Michelle? Thanks a lot. Okay. Yeah, Alex, thank you. Go. Uh, uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, this is so important. And like uh, writing about our uh, sustainable future on Wikimedia projects is really important way of communicating these issues and making them feel local and relevant to people. So I, I just encourage Wikimedia communities, you know, either join this campaign or think about other things you can do um, it, as we in the next six months, 12 months. And if you need help, please reach out. Thank you, Alex. Yes, uh, 
thank you a lot, uh, Yame, and thank you for Wikipedia Tunisia to host this uh, meeting. And also, I would like to refer to the power of knowledge. And if we want to stop the climate change and everything related to that, that is really destroying our life, we should really start start moving. And editing Wikipedia is is a good way to 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 to, to make your own uh, contribution. I think it's the least thing that we can do. So, yes, sure. <laughs> thank you, Michel, and thank you again for joining uh, for reaching us about uh, to inform us about this challenge. And uh, see you in uh, in another session, maybe to talk about the, the outcomes, about the outcomes of this uh, campaign and uh, the result of uh, the challenge. That Thank sounds you. great. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye bye.